Greetings in the name of Christ. And shalom. Welcome. The world we live in is a world full of deception and a world full of craziness, as you know. But lately, I've been, work, I've been working on the Bible Code for 23 years. started working on the Bible Code back in around the spring of 2000. And all these years, I've kept a notebook with all kinds of uh, code research I've done. And the other day, I was, a couple of days ago, I was going through the code of notebook, and I was looking for information about something I was working on. And I found another passage uh, that really stood out to me that I wrote years ago that really took me, up, took me by, by surprise. Because this thing is talking about what's going on right now. So what I'm about to share with you is found as a lot of this stuff was found years ago. And so it's now coming true now. So it's important to understand God is in control. We don't, we don't, we have not let to, we have not, we, we do not have to let the world control us. Because God is still on the throne. And the Bible code always shows God is in control. The Bible code is a testimony to the power and majesty of God. So we always have, have that to understand God is God. What happens, God is God. So, so what I'm about to show you is really fascinating because, because I found it some of, some of years ago. I will explain it. This is what I'm about to tell you is not really political. This is something I found the code. Take you can take what you what what I'm saying. What take what you want from it. But this is directly from the Bible code, so it's important to understand what God is telling us today. So let's take a look what I found in the Bible code. And in Deuteronomy 9 and 10, I found this passage and stuff. Talking about the present uh, political situation, but it was, it was found probably about ten years ago, I think. So I was, I was in my notebook. I found it years ago. So what I'm going to show you right now was written down way before President you know, for Biden came a president. So it says they shall impeach the president, pushing the new world order. He built his tower of Babel with his son, guilty of corruption, fraud, and money from China. He had he is a White House puppet of Obama and the deep state. The Lord shall bring him down into the lake of fire, for he has bloody hands for supporting abortion and the killing of the baby, the infant baby. He is a liar lying about global climate change to control people and bring down the economy. So what I found years ago was the first part. Then I added the second part recently because I, I went back and reworked that. It goes, this is really interesting, but I found this years ago before Biden even came. Nobody thought he'd become president. So and it's interesting what he's they just, this a scientist. So let's look, look at that. Let's look a, a little closer to what he's saying. It says, they shall impeach the president pushing the new world order. Well, right now, we, you know, now, now, we've seen the Senate, not Senate, but the House. House has our ending, ending articles of impeachment and have actually voted to impeach President Biden. So he, this is an active thing right now, being impeached right now. You know, it's an active thing. So, but he, President uh, Biden also is putting the new world order. Him and you know, uh, Macron and a lot of world leaders across the world are pushing this one world government, new world order stuff, and it's using that to make money off people and control people. So they're trying to set up their own tower of Babel. Says, is any code? Mentions that the Tower of Babel, because the Tower of Babel was a time when people rebelled against God as a as a unit. So you see that here the president has 
his Tower of Babel, which is he's deliberately going against God. He has set himself up against God, which is a very dangerous thing to do. But he also says with his son. So we know his son, Hunter, is involved with all kinds of money, kickbacks, and a lot of testimony in the recent days and how I've been all on in the house been exposing all this. There's all this coming being exposed. God's exposing all this now. So what is written here is being happening right now. So what I found years ago is now happening now. So that shows you sovereignty of God and the, the, the reliable code. And it's important to understand God is in control. So what, don't worry about what's happening. Just to keep, kind of keep your faith and pray and trust God. But it goes even further. That's, it's, it talks about his corruption and money and but it's interesting, it goes and goes and it's, and it talks it says there's a puppet of a body in the deep state. Well, if you look look to uh, this this pack I couldn't find uh, Biden's name in there. I couldn't find his his name is not in there. Or his hunter. So it's only a name in a whole area is Obama's. So it's like saying the Obama is behind these he's a nip behind the scenes. And now we know from other people's testimony, that's probably what's happening. So we see the Bible code again being verified from different sources. But it's interesting, the fascinating thing is that, he's, he's going to, that the Biden is mentioned has bloody hands for, for his support of abortion. Now, Biden has a name several times in the Bible code. Every time he's mentioned, there, it's mentioned with a he has. So it's important to, to God that he, God's pointing out that abortion is murder and killing. And so, you know, it's not a, per, a personal right to kill somebody. And so if, every, every time there's a politician or something that supports the, the abortion and the Bible code, like Nancy has the same, they, they have the same phrase, same wording with them, they have bloody hands. So, numerous places in the Bible code, there is the definition of these politicians having bloody hands because they are supporting the death of children. Now, one of the biggest, one of the fascinating things about this is also the point out the climate change is is fraudulent. And there's the Bible code in the Bible and the Genesis that points out the Bible. It says the Bible code. And it says that the climate change is a fraud that God is in control of the weather. So we know what God is in control. We know weather is not controlled by carbon emissions, all stuff. So we have to put our faith in God, not in man. Now, the interesting thing about climate change, people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this. But the climate change idea first originated back in 1800s. Did you know that? And... One of the first articles about Bible codes was in New York paper in 18, I think, 1835 or something like that. And they were saying about 1965, the whole West Coast, California, are going to be underwater. And Florida is going to be vanished because of the ice caps are melting because of global warming. Because back then, it was very hot like it is today. And so what happens... Uh, the weather goes in cycles. That's uh, how the farmers' walmon almanacs get their information. They go to look at the cycles and stuff. So if you look at the cycles of the weather, the weather is always going cycles and changing. So to, for it to be a real climate change, it would have to be a, so much more drastic than it is happening now. What is happening now is they're using climate change for political purposes to manipulate people and to make money. The whole re reason for climate change is to make money. And same thing, everything, uh, politicians and corruption have for many years has been what? To make money and put people down and control people. That's all been the, the scenario for thousands of years to put to put people down and make money. 
So, uh, so the elites that can raise to the top, because they're, they're, it's important to keep the elites happy, right? No, it's not, because they're they're subject to God as we are. Everybody in the world is subject to God, and everybody is going to be judged by God, not by man. So, what you take away from this is simply this: God is in control. No matter what happens, God is in control. Why do you see the news? God is in control. Why are you doing in your life? you got to put God first because God is in control. We're going to see a lot of changes in the coming months. And these changes will be because God is in control. So don't worry about going crazy of all this stuff happening. You, you keep your faith in God. Because no matter what happens, God is in control. The Bible code proves that. There's a number of things I found in the Bible code that hadn't happened but did happen at, later on. And this is one that's seen that's coming true right now that I found years ago. So we take comfort that the Bible code was given to us by God to have a testimony to the greatness and power of God. So we need to thank God for everything we got and keep our faith in God. So no matter what happens to your life, remember to keep your eyes on Christ, not in the world. Have a great week and trust God. Amen.